It's hard for me to find the words to describe what it feels like to ride a horse without sounding cliche. You get a sense of what it's like to have their strength and power. Most things are a discussion and sometimes they push us past our limits, but that just forces us to break out of our shells. I actually started college at Mount Holyoke in South Hadley, Massachusetts. The horses were great, the coaches were great, the students were amazing, but I was constantly surrounded by other women and I just didn't feel like I fit into that group. So I finished out my school year there, came out to all of my friends there, and they were also extremely supportive. I mean, one of my best friends at the time came with me to cut my hair and took pictures of the whole process, just so that I could look back on it and see how happy I was. And then I came out to my parents, and we decided that it would probably be best if I took some time off of school, left Mount Holyoke, and just tried to kind of figure out what I was gonna do next. I thought it would be best for me if I could go somewhere without people who had preconceived notions of who I was before I transitioned. I did consider not riding, but I was starting hormone replacement therapy, and I knew that I didn't want to go through that alone. That time was not great for me because I was still extremely dysphoric in my body. I pretty much always wore baggy clothing just to hide all of my curves. Tried not to speak so that if I was passing as a guy, I just wouldn't open my mouth. Horses were really what got me through. At the beginning when my parents were kind of dealing with their own reservations in regards to my transition, it was nice for me to go to the barn and see my horse just seeing him nicker at me and come to his door the same way he always had and nuzzle into me when I walked in, I mean, that was all the reassurance that I needed. There are studies out there that say horses remember smell, they remember emotion. So, I mean, he knew even if I looked different, I was the same person that I always was. Having a connection with something, knowing that there was someone there that loved me, no matter what, I showed up to the barn every single day. I got myself out of bed. No matter how horrible I was feeling about myself, no matter how dysphoric I was, and no matter how much my brain tried to think about my parents and what was gonna happen with all of that, I think just having something consistent made me hold myself reliable, if that makes sense, to get up and do what I had to do to keep fighting, keep going, until I could get to the place that I wanted to be. The way college riding works, you travel to other schools and pick a horse's name out of a hat, essentially, that you've never seen before, never ridden before, and then you have to just go jump on and ride. My first Christmas break at SCAD was actually the break that I was getting my top surgery. The first show, it went well, but not as well as I hoped. And I was trying to figure out why. I still found myself rolling my shoulders forward and like collapsing into myself almost. I think I was still scared that someone was gonna notice something that just didn't look right or wasn't man enough. The next day I rolled around and I was like, all right, like here we go again. But I really tried to stay in the moment. There's no doubt in my mind that that horse knew I was nervous. Horses, when they're listening to you, sometimes their ears will flick back. At least for me, that told me we're in this together. Even if I have no idea who you are, tell me what you need me to do and I'll do it. The second he picked up the trot, I took the chance. I rolled my shoulders back, exposing my, I mean, it was flat chest, but it was the first time that I had ever shown anyone really how flat my chest was, and just really focusing on that rhythm, that moment where your rhythms line up perfectly, it feels like you're flying. I was like, that was one of the best classes I've ever done in my life. And I just hope it was enough, but even if it's not enough, I overcame something else that honestly in the long run is probably even more valuable. But when they announced the results, it turned out that I had won the class. I think that gave me a lot more confidence just in general, to even walk around with my chest out, only good things came out of it. I tie it back to my transition, and I think the fact that my transition 
helped me connect with an animal that I didn't even know. And I mean, since writing an article for Outsports, I mean, I've even had people messaging me that I don't know and connecting with me. I consider myself extremely fortunate because the way I competed in my sport, they don't have any restrictions on transgender individuals. And I think part of that is the fact that men and women compete against one another. I didn't have to give up the thing that I loved more than anything else in the world when I was going through my transition, and a lot of trans athletes do. I just hope that other sports kind of adopt a similar philosophy to equestrians. It doesn't have to be one or the other, and trans people can keep doing what they love while transitioning because it definitely saved me, and there's no doubt in my mind that it would do the same thing for someone else.